¿Qué onda, Freedom Seekers? ¿Cómo estamos? Es lunes. Esto quiere decir que es otro episodio de Coffee and Cash. ¡Claro que sí! Yo, guys, we are here at Affiliate Summit West. I've got a fellow Spanish speaker here, so I had to start the episode in Spanish. Um, we're super excited about what we're doing in Latin America. It's going to be bonkers. There's a lot of stuff happening. Brought on my good buddy, Ernesto Mejia. Uh, to talk about some of the stuff he's doing. He is a super affiliate and he does a lot of of solid, solid work, especially in like those neutral spaces that I know so many people are interested in. But before we talk to Ernesto, we're going to jump in. We're going to talk about four offers that you probably should take a look at ASAP and maybe they're worth running for you. So first offer that I want to talk about was Revive. So Revive is an offer that it's been on other platforms before. It's a weight loss offer. It's by one of the most successful offer producers out there. Um, super great offer, great VSL, I'd check it out. Second offer that we want to talk about, the Lung Juice. Oh, that's an interesting name, right? The Lung Juice. It's a cool offer. It's newer to the Digistore 24 platform. You may not have checked it out. Jump in, I think it might be worth your while. Third offer, we've talked about this one on the show before, Flat Belly Shake. Wow. Um, what I love about that name is that flat belly implies like weight loss, but shake implies something that's tasting delicious and made with ice cream. And so it sort of tricks the people when they're thinking about weight loss are usually like, uh, weight loss, but it's like, oh, weight loss shake. Like this could be tasty. Tasty delicious. Yeah. And so, and so it's a good, it's a good name. And the last one, brand new to the Digistore 24 platform, Bio Renew. And this is from another mega a uh, product producer. They've done like a ton of huge stuff. This buy renew is a great offer. Um, it's a, a skin offer, like make yourself look smooth and beautiful and classy. And it's uh, it's a really great one. Good numbers. Check it out. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into this. So Ernesto, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm noticing this watch right here. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am from Mexico. I like to do um, sports, uh, running marathons, keeping myself fit. Um, uh, I started this, uh, affiliate marketing journey around four or five years ago. How, so how did you find your way here? That's one thing that for everybody, it's, it's very different because nobody grew up saying I'm going to be an affiliate marketer, but then somehow they find it. Yeah. I, I found it kind of, uh, by accident. I was, uh, an employee for a high tech uh, silicon company for 20 years and eventually uh, I, uh, what were you doing there? What was your... I was a, a technical solutions architect, basically designing how data networks evolve uh, over time, uh, connecting the internet of things. Okay. So I was looking for another job, but that took longer than expected. And I decided to have an e-commerce store. Okay. What were you, what were you selling? Uh, the thing is, I was not focused. Uh, that was uh, probably a strategic mix mistake. I was switching niches every week. You so what, try if it didn't hit, yeah, move on. Exactly. So I was not patient enough. I had no clear strategy. Uh, but the good thing is that I started learning around Facebook ads to promote my okay. e-com uh, uh, business. And at that time, my ad account was stable. I was running low ball budget dollar. Where Where were you selling? The I was selling... Uh, worldwide, worldwide. Uh, mainly to the U.S. speaking, speaking countries, uh, drop shipping from China. Okay. So that was uh, interesting, although that required a lot of customer service yeah. and a lot of uh, updating my e-commerce pages. And uh, at some point, I remember in, in the middle of the winter, while I was working so many hours, my hand really started to hurt after using so many hours the mouse. So I thought, there should be another way. Okay. And I received uh, an email from a platform inviting me to a webinar to learn about affiliate marketing. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started to learn about the terminology, the offers, the landing pages, uh, how to drive uh, traffic uh, more efficiently. So website. So tell me this, um, we have a lot of people that, that I see this uh, with e-commerce, right? Is that they jump in like, I'm going to open an e-com store. And then they do what you do where they like, switch to this, to this, to this, to this. Obviously the affiliate thing stuck, right? All of a sudden, did you come to affiliate marketing with a much more clear strategy and determination or did you actually just like hit it quick? And the... No, I, I was very much determined, but uh, the programming which I joined had not enough content. And I started to hitting some uh, roadblocks with my Facebook ad accounts. 
and I was struggling to get new ad accounts. I had no clear idea, but I found a mentor who really uh, helped me a lot with my mindset. And and this is something I want want to share with the affiliates who are looking into this. I was not prepared to start an entrepreneurial journey. I thought it was just a matter of like going to the gym to work out your muscles and eventually uh, you will be strong and fit. And that happens, although uh, it's important to say that you need to have the clear mindset to make it work, to be disciplined enough, uh, to be resilient and to uh, be willing to learn and learn from your mistakes. So for me, and you have to make, you have to make a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, which which at at first for me, it was difficult to accept because in my previous job, I was not used to ask for help or I thought I needed to be perfect. But here you really need to understand your data and to fall forward every time so that you get closer to your goal, closer to your success. So I was making better sense of data every time I was buying data from Facebook understanding that I can improve my creatives, my landing page, picking a better offer, learning when to turn off a campaign instead of uh, letting it run for longer and losing money. If it is not performing, hardly it's going to improve. Yeah, I think that I think that, that like when you're starting out as an affiliate, there's a lot of these decisions can like almost be agonizing because you feel like you're, you could be on the verge of success or on the verge of failure. And this one decision about like, do I turn this on or turn this off? Like it can ruin it, especially when you're like on a budget trying to do this, you know, how much money, how did you start learning these? So you needed one, you learned from like trial and error Two, you had a, a mentor. I had a mentor and uh, this person helped me to shorten my path to success within nine months of starting with affiliate marketing. I achieved a $1,000 of sales a day okay. with some consistency. Uh, because with Facebook, sometimes you face challenges with the ad accounts, so you need to get new ones. And uh, I enjoy the more financial freedom at at that time. And I had the opportunity to travel around the world. And uh, two years ago, I decided to switch to YouTube just because it is a more user-friendly platform. They really want advertisers to succeed. And uh, I have been working mainly with health-related offers in uh, the Nutra space. And uh, one advice I would like to give advertisers is besides knowing your data, using a tracking tool that is so great, it's important to be original with your creatives, not to steal other people ads. It's about integrity and about uh, connecting with people uh, to deliver value, uh, connect people with solutions. So last night we, we had dinner with a group of affiliates, right? A group of affiliates. And, and I think there's, there's, you learn from mistakes, you learn from mentors, but you also learn a lot from peers and having a peer group or youth where you can, you can talk to this peer group and say, what are you doing? What are you doing? And you learn from each other's mistakes. And in order for that to be successful, that's where integrity comes in. Nobody will tell you what they're doing that that works if they're fearful that you're going to steal their stuff. And so I've seen some people that have gotten this sort of insider information and then they instantly burn a bridge by just copying it. And that person will never again share any insight with you. Exactly. Businesses are built around trust. And uh, just like you make a business company to company, you also make a business uh, with people you trust and meet them at this kind of events and really having a sense of community like your tribe in which you can learn from others, but not uh, steal their secrets it is what lifts all, all the boats. Uh... It can, it can be difficult for a, an affiliate that is growing right there. I feel like there's a spot where at first you're like, you're new and you're not making any money. So you're like a super, you're behaving super well. You're not, you don't have much temptation. And then you start doing sort of okay. And you start seeing the dollar signs, you get a little bit tempted, like, Maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm going to rip this thing or maybe I'm going to rip this thing. And and you say, well, I could be making this much money. But what you, what you fail to think about is the idea that it's not about quick money. It's about having a long-term business. Exactly. And you have to say, maybe I'm not going to make quite as much money right now because I'm going to have integrity. But in four years, I built such a strong relationship with this group of people that all of us will be incredibly successful. Exactly. And uh, I remember when I was also a newbie, I wanted to see a clear example of a working funnel. And it took me a while to get to that situation. But what I want to uh, tell uh, affiliates is you can learn, uh, but emulate your very own ads. Uh, Don't copy uh, because 
uh, that will not help you create a long-term success and long-term future. It's important for you to absorb the skills of how to create a good funnel uh, for your uh, very own uh, future and yeah. success. So right now, like you roll with a bunch of groups where you get inside what other people are doing. What do you think is, is like the, the number one or number two issues that you see young affiliates making? Uh, they don't uh, focus. Probably they they don't know what they they don't know. Sometimes they work very much by themselves. And for me, when I was a newbie, it was important for me to connect with uh, people at my level in which I can share maybe an image or a video and so I mean, my peer will help me with some uh, copywriting or some landing page. And we had a weekly uh, Skype call and in my um, power cell group, I decided for me being an introvert, I wanted to, to have a leadership role and I uh, was um, leading that call. I was the so-called captain of my power cell and I was helping uh, some peers that have technical issues with uh, setting up a landing page. I went on a one-to-one -one with them and I helped them. And that helped to build trust and our, on our next schedule, all of them, which were much more cooperative and collaborating. Was was that set up by your mentor? Was he the one who helped you set up this group or did you just like yeah. start messaging people? Yeah, the, the mentor assigned us with some peers from all around the globe. A few of them were uh, Spanish, uh, English speaking people, some others like me are not uh, uh, completely native, but it was hard at first to find the right uh, time slot that would work for everybody because we had people yeah. from Australia, Europe and, and America. But yes, we had the discipline to keep that call going for a number of months. And so I remember three of those out of those eight in different niches achieved 1000 a day sales. No, so. What made you decide that you were going to, you were going to set on sort of like the Nutra fitness health space? Like, why was that your program? I see a ton of affiliates go there. Why? Yeah, there's a big opportunity um, because weight loss is one of these uh, so-called evergreen niches in which people uh, want to lose either one or two pounds or 10 or 20 throughout the year. And there are plenty of offers. And also they have a typically good, very good average order value. So you can uh, make a profit, but there are also some other less little known uh, niches like uh, the pets niche or um, the gardening niche, uh, many, many offers. And uh, I would uh, like to encourage affiliates to go through the Digistore uh, website and look at the various categories they have offers and look for one that uh, you're passionate about that has a good average order value and uh, you can make it work. You want to differentiate yourself by picking a niche uh, that is less, uh, with less competition, that you can be the prime affiliate for that vendor, and then you can get better terms and conditions. It's one thing that's, that I think is valuable and often forgotten is that every person has their own like unique skill set, right? The thing that sets them apart. And a lot of times we say, well, I'm just gonna be, this is where all these other affiliates are, so I'm just gonna run there. But if you have a unique interest Exactly. That makes you special and different than all these other affiliates. Like when I go, you obviously have spoken already on this about your own personal fitness thing. So it makes sense for you to be focused on, on these sort of offers because you understand people that buy these products. But if you're somebody who's just like crazy for dogs, right? Exactly. Crazy for dogs. Why not say, I understand dog owners. So let me be unique to them. And even though it's not as big a vertical, maybe it there's. Yeah, that, that's the reason why there are these offers in these niches. There's a market for them. You just need to reach those people interested in, in that niche and you can make it work for sure. No, that's super cool. What do you think? So so you obviously started getting out of Facebook before everybody else started getting out of Facebook. Like I would say in like this last year, everybody's like, yeah, dude, I'm going to like YouTube. I'm going to TikTok. Like everybody started talking about it. You were ahead of that trend. What made you decide like, hey, I want to start thinking about YouTube before everybody else start thinking about it? Uh, well, I knew uh, another mentor who invited me to learn about uh, his program around YouTube. He was uh, very much doing um, keywords and then I subscribed uh, into a tool to, to research this kind of keyword depending on the niche I was interested in. It took me around six months to transition fully on the way I was doing my Facebook ads to the way I, w I was having success with YouTube because it's a different uh, structure. 
longer videos, you need a longer ad copy, you want to be more conversational. I remember some of my very first um, videos, I was standing in front of my cell phone, uh, but I needed to to memorize my whole script, which didn't work good yeah. for me. Because <laughs> But eventually you can figure out that you don't need to be in front of the camera if you don't want to. I enjoyed more uh, business longevity with my ad accounts. And I figured out that uh, with YouTube, the platform really encouraged you to have success. Yeah, you know, being forward thinking and saying, hey, I'm going to go to the, um, what's going to happen? What are the changes that we're going to expect? The problems? How do I then be ahead of the curve? I think it's super important. One of my favorite things about coming to events and masterminds and stuff is I get to sit and, and listen to a lot of, you'd say like CEO types and, and founder types. And what's interesting about them is like their job is not to be doing day-to-day -day stuff. Like average affiliate, he's in the weeds day-to-day -day trying to do stuff. You need to take the opportunity to take the opportunity to look at or listen to guys who their whole job is just to be forward thinking like a CEO. And then, then hear what they say. Ask them questions like, what are we all going to be doing in a year that we're not doing now? And then you get ahead of everybody else. Uh, that, that's so important, Alex. Uh, I have an LLC uh, that I set up in the United States, which would help, help me with the exchange rate and everything. And uh, I was thinking of me as an entrepreneur. I have a team of two people that help me to run my ads. But being in these events and speaking to people, I have learned that I myself need to think about me as the CEO, as my company, to think about this vision, how I want to be in six months from now, in a year from now, to really grow uh, as a business and let uh, people specialize in their roles. It's very hard if you are an entrepreneur to try to do everything. Um, so you you want to, to be in the, the, the driver's uh, front seat as a CEO, uh, and, ev and eventually uh, either um, hire someone or outsource some of the things you do so that you don't feel trapped into operation uh, mode for everything. I think it, it's tempting. What m most of us try to do is we try to get out of our, we try to get out of our workday. So I'm working eight hours a day, right? And so then I say, well, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to hire somebody who's going to do two hours of work for me. They're going to do three hours of work for me. And then what do I do with that time? I then just like hang out, like watch Watch videos and what it needs to be is you don't have to be working for eight hours a day, but during that like off time, your brain should be wandering and thinking and exactly. contemplating That's so important. the future. So it's not that you're now only working two hours a day. It's maybe you're only working in the business like two hours a day, but then with that spare time, now that extra four hours, you're watching other thought leaders, you're, you're consuming content, you're reading economic like newspapers and stuff to see where are trends happening and then taking all this information that you're consuming and having quiet times to contemplate and decide how do I need to change what I'm doing and that's where the that's where real growth happens if it's just I'm just not going to work you know, like the Tim Ferriss for our work we rise like, I guarantee you Tim Ferriss isn't just working four hours and the rest of the time is just play like he's definitely still working it's just not the orthodox sitting in a desk working well Ernesto thanks so much for being on the show thank you all it man uh, Hi, sir. It's DigiStores doing a lot of stuff in Latin America. So if you're one of our Latin American affiliates, please reach out to us at uh, affiliates at digistore24.com. Let us know where you are. Uh, drop it in the comments below. Shout out like where you're calling from. We'd love to know more about who our viewers are so we know how to serve you. So drop stuff in the chat, like, subscribe, follow us. Every Monday morning, new stuff. And remember, open minds, open hearts, equals open lives. Thank you.